Grace to you in peace and welcome once again to this seven-part series of meditations looking at the last words of Jesus from the cross. In this meditation we are looking at the sixth word from John chapter 19. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. It is finished. Faith decides the meaning of these words. When the world hears Jesus say, it is finished, they hear an admission of defeat. His life is over. He has given up. His effort to reform Judaism or usher his kingdom into the world is lost. He and his movement are finished. It is over. It is time to give up. But when we hear these words, the meaning is exactly the opposite. We do not hear in these words an omission of defeat. We hear an announcement of victory. It is finished at last. The victory is finally won. Sin, death, and the devil have been defeated once and for all. These simple words heard in this way describe, I think, what makes Christianity different from all the other religions of the world and what makes it so wonderful uh, for us. For Christianity itself is summed up in this simple word that Jesus spoke from the cross. It is finished. Christianity for us is not a program that helps us to find the meaning of life. It's not a set of teachings that we must accept. It's not first about anything that we do. In fact, Christianity doesn't begin with us at all. It begins with our Lord on the cross. And it begins with our, what our Lord has accomplished for us on that cross. For us and for our salvation, Jesus became human and died on the cross. Christianity begins with Jesus' words on the cross, announcing that our salvation has been won for us. It begins with the words, it is finished. When the world hears uh, the submission of defeat, we hear something very different. We hear a simple summary of all that is important to us, a summary of all that we believe. The victory could not have come at a greater cost. We acknowledge that, we grieve that. It cost our Lord his life, but the victory has come. We believe that too. It's what makes this word from the cross almost music to our ears. It is finished. I invite you now to take some time in silence to give thanks that the work of your salvation is finished and yet just beginning. 